the variables x and y are connected by the equation, this one here, some corresponding values of x and y are shown in the table below. So here is the table. So you can see that these are the x coordinates or the x values and these are the y coordinates. Now the first question says calculate the value of k. Okay, so this is the k that they want you to calculate. So to calculate the value of k, we are going to rely on the equation that we've been given this one. Okay, so we we'll rely on this equation. So we have y is equal to x minus 3, x minus 5, x plus 2. Alright, so since these are the x values and these are the y values, it means that k is the y coordinate or the y value. So for us to find what k is, we are going to use the value of x, its corresponding value of x, which is 6 here on top. So which means that in this equation, wherever there is x, we are going to replace a 6, which is a corresponding x value to this k. So we are going to have y is equal to 6 minus 3, 6 minus 5, 6 plus 2. And when you punch this on the calculator, you are going to see that y is going to be equal to 24. Okay? So meaning here, the value of k is 24. The second part is saying using the scale of 2 centimeters to represent one unit, on x axis for the values of x from negative 2 to positive 6. So which means that you need to plan your graph very well. So if you make here this point as the origin, on the left you, are, you need to have x values from negative 1 to negative 2 and then on the positive values of x you need to have from you need to have the values from 1 to 6 so let's see if you if, if we put this as a as, as 0 as the origin let's see if we are going to have 6 x values or x coordinates so so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. So here it's fitting and even this side it's fitting. So we can we are free. We can put this as 0 then 1 because they are saying using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent one unit. So you have to know that from here to here the big square is 2 centimeters. So they want you to use the big square to represent 1. Okay, so 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Again, on the left hand side of 0, we have negative 1 and negative 2. So we draw a straight line for the x plane like this okay so on the y axis they are saying use a scale of two centimeters to represent 10 units so meaning from the origin we are moving in tens 0 10 20 up to 40 so here we have 10 then 20 30 up to 40 then on the negative side we are stopping at negative 10 all right we even draw the coordinates like this okay so this is the y axis and 
this is the x axis all right so we can now start plotting but before we start plotting we need to know what each of the graduation on the x axis is worth of so from 0 to 1 we have 10 graduations okay and so for us to find what each of the graduation is worth of we are going to say 1 divide by the number of graduations 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 so meaning each of these small graduations on the x axis is worth 0 0.1 then on the y axis from here to there it's 10 and then number of graduation is also 10 meaning each of these small graduations is worth 1 so with that in mind we can go ahead and begin to plot so we have negative 2 comma 0 so the x coordinate is negative 2 then the y coordinate is 0 so it will just be here next we have negative 1 comma 24 so negative 1 comma so this is 20 21 22 23 24 it's here then 0 comma 30 0 comma 30 it's here then 1 comma 24 1 positive 1 comma 24 so 20 1 2 3 4 here then 2 comma 12 2 comma this is 10 11 12 it's here then we have 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 it's here then we have 4 comma negative 6 4 comma negative 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's here then 5 comma 0 5 comma 0 it's here then we have 6 comma 24 the value of k we found that is 24 so 6 comma 24 this is 20 1 2 3 4 here all right so we are done uh, plotting now we need to join these points with a smooth curve make sure that it's a smooth curve so you start you use a pencil you begin a smooth curve like this okay make sure it's a smooth curve like this so you even label it as y is equal to x minus 3 x minus 5 x plus 2 so if you are with me up to this point it means you are enjoying what i'm doing please consider subscribing hit the like button comment and share all right so the next question says use your graph to estimate the gradient of the curve at the point negative 1 comma 24 so they want you to use this graph to estimate the gradient of the curve at the point negative 1 comma 24 here so to do that we are going to draw a straight line that is going to touch this point here okay so you draw a straight line that is going to touch there a tangent you're going to draw a tangent which is going to touch this point here all right so the point is this one so now how are we going to find the gradient of this line we are going to pick two points which are along this line okay we're going to pick two points that are along this line the first point will be the the, the ones that the one that we've been given already negative one comma 24 so the first point so this is actually i i a so we pick the points we're going to pick negative 1 comma 24 as long as the points are along this line so negative 1 comma 24 then the next point that we are going to give to get i encourage you to collect uh, the points that are obvious on the graph so like this point here because it's easy to say 0 comma 40 okay so pick this point as well 0 comma 40 so to find the gradient we are going to use the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over 
x2 minus x1. So we are going to give this point as 0.1. So meaning we are going to have x1, y1, then x2, y2. So we can replace in here. So we're going to have y2 is 40 minus uh, y1 is 24 over x2 is 0 minus x1 is negative 1. So 40 minus 24 is 16 over 0 minus minus 1 is positive 1. So the gradient is 16. So this is the gradient, the estimated gradient, which is 16. So the gradient may not be exact as you may find when you try this out because this is just an estimate. So your estimated gra gradient should be close to the true value, the true gradient. At B, they are saying, use your graph to estimate the area bounded by the curve at x is equal to negative 1. So they want you to find the area, to estimate the area bounded by the curve at x is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 is here. So we're going to do this. Then x is equal to negative 2. x is equal to negative 2 is here. And y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 is the x-axis. So it's along here. So let's just highlight it. So you need to highlight this region so that you don't make mistakes. Just highlight the region. All right. So this is the region bounded by the curve where they want us to find the area on. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is to find the area of one square. Okay. And then we're going to use this area of one square to find the total area. So from the, from here up to here, it's 1. Okay? Then from here up to there, it's 10. So you can see that this is now area is equal to LB, length times breadth, is equal to length is 1 times uh, breadth is 10, which gives 10 unit square. So the area is 10 square unit for one full box of one full square. So for us to find the area of the full region, first of all, we are going to count the number of four squares. So let's start from here. So we have one. This is a full one. Then two. Uh, three. Uh, this is half then 4 and 5. The rest are halves. So, air, so we are going to say full. Full area, I mean full squares, we have 5. Now remember, area of one square is 10 square units. So we are going to multiply this 5 by 10, which gives 50 square units. Okay, hope that's clear. Then we are going to find, to count the number of those boxes or squares that are half. So you can see that when it's full, this box here or this square has been cut. So we have one half here, then two here, then three and four. So we have half, those that are half, As 4. Again, we're going to multiply it by this area of one box. So times 10, and this gives 40 square units. Now, because these are half, we are going to divide this by 2. Okay, so it's like we are getting this and put it here to make it full, uh, getting part of this and put it there to make it full. So divide, it by, divide this by 2 and it gives 20 uh, square units. Okay? Now to find the total area, so we're going to say area total, we are going to add 
50 plus 20. So 50 plus 20 giving 70 uh, square units. So this is the area. If you want to learn how to solve quadratic equations by the completing square method, just hit on the just click on the video that is showing on the on the screen right now.